Well, good morning guys. How are you? Beautiful sunny day. If you can see that there. Um, I've just arrived at the test facility of a company called Robo Race. Now you might have heard of this before. It's basically they have developed an autonomous driverless race car and uh, we are about to get involved in a rather exciting challenge. What's their brake horsepower? It's a massive brake horsepower. How massive? <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the Robo Race facilities. Check out that. Pretty cool. It's actually an amazing space. Um, but the most important thing is we have one of the Robo Race cars here. And that's actually the show car, I believe. Got another one just over here, which I think I remember seeing in Monaco. And then finally, they have another one right over here, which um, which I quite like the livery of this actually, the blue and white. But what are we doing here? You may wonder. Well. We're doing a bit of an experiment, let's call it that. Uh, hopefully an experiment that goes smoothly and works out well, but I am gonna be test driving DevBot, which is the development car for Robo Race. Looks a little bit like this. This is not actually the car because clearly you will see it's still in pieces and that's only half the car. But I'm basically gonna be testing DevBot against DevBot in AI mode, which basically means in driverless mode. So I'm going to be going out on track in Hong Kong just before the very first Formula E race of the season um, and race on the track, try and set the fastest time possible and then DevBot is going to go out without me in the car. So it's going to set its fastest lap in autonomous mode. Uh, the idea is we're doing a bit of a human versus machine, what I like to call it woman versus machine <laughs> and fingers crossed I'm going to be faster. <laughs> this, I, I feel like this is like an episode of Blue Peter happening right here. Kids, how to build your own race seat at home. So we've taken a carbon seat and fitted it into our tub here. Um, we're just, so we've got this standard carbon seat and fitted it into our tub. And we're just adjusting it with some foam. Just I mean, no offence, but that blue foam, it doesn't look... Um, do that professional. Don't worry about it, it's going to look professional in a bit. <laughs> so this is obviously not the car that I will be test driving. <laughs> As uh, you'll see there are a lot of parts missing. This is purely for the seat fitting and um, and this is a really glamorous way of getting in. Is it still in the same place or not? Ooh. Uh, great. So what we want to do here is your hips want to be right down at the bottom of that padding. So just lift yourself up a little bit. So this might be too thick padding. I've got two different sorts. Right, can you get your bum all the way to the bottom of the seat? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's too thick. That's perfect. Is that the same thickness? This is, this is the thick stuff. Okay. So we can go thin on that. Although to be fair, it's quite good having padding. Yeah, no, I mean that feels that feels good. Is this where the w the real work happens? <laughs> Not, there. Not there. Oh, it's here. Oh my God, look at it. Is this the finished product? Wow, it looks cool. How many have you got here? Of this. Yeah. We have uh, fully finished three. And then two short ones. Yeah. That looks like a serious, mean machine. Okay, so now we've arrived actually at the Robo Race testing facility. Um, actually, you can see it Ooh, just cruising past. That's DevBot, the car that I'm going to be driving. It's going quite slowly, so hopefully that is a good sign of things to come. I might be able to beat it. Um, but uh, it's basically an airfield. Little look. 
there isn't a huge amount here but this is their i suppose their little cabin where uh the engineers have basically been uh developing the technology having a meeting and to have a look at the track i mean obviously <laughs> It's actually just a load of barriers. So they, they've kind of tried to replicate parts of the Hong Kong track, which means it's quite narrow, lots of tight corners, very twisty. Um, which would be a good opportunity for the car to take the car in obviously the most, well, the most similar uh, circumstances to being on a road in Hong Kong. So what's going on? What are we doing? Vicky's driving. Safety, safety briefing. Oh, a safety briefing. We do so like a bit of safety. In, we're going to get you in first. Look, at the, look how pretty it looks. Blue sky. This never happens. We always get rain. I'll just take it easy to begin with. The problem is I don't really like to take it easy. So I just experienced Dev Boss for the very first time. Uh, very interesting, actually. I mean, I broke the car. No, I didn't break the car. The car just had to break. Um, the guys are just going to work on it now. But I kind of got four laps in, uh, which, to be honest, is nowhere near enough. I would love. I need like a good hour. I would prefer an hour at least in the car before going to Hong Kong. But that's not going to happen. So I'm just going to have to use my skill, precision, and just general talent. Uh, to do a good job in Hong Kong. Clearly that's not going to happen. Um, I might be dressed like a Power Ranger, but I am not feeling like a mighty Power Ranger. Uh, but it'll be fine, I think. It's going to be good fun. I'll show you the car. The guys are working on it now. Um, uh, now, in case you're wondering what it is, it's actually based on the chassis of a Ginetta LMP3 car. Uh, but obviously, if you look closer, it has a battery, it's got four motors, um, so it is obviously an electric type of car. Um, and yeah, actually take a look, at, look inside. Quite smart, There's space there. This is the red flashing light. That means uh, that there is an error. <laughs> um, Devbot three. So that's kind of it for here. Uh, see you in Hong Kong.